The storm surge reached as high as houses' roofs. Few buildings could withstand the wind. We managed to contact the mayor of the town of Koron in the Philippines on Busuanga. This was the last island the typhoon hit before it crashed ahead westwards. People here described the noise as terrifying. Koron's population is some 45,000. The mayor says the counting of the dead and injured has only just begun, but that what's left of the airport is already back in use. We have no electricity, no water, and uh, our food supply can only last for six days. The problem is the municipality has no money to, uh, to uh, pay for uh, the cargo of uh, relief goods. These are all commercial flights. Therefore, when uh, we talk about uh, relief goods, of course, uh, they, they uh, don't have any humanitarian consideration. The tourist town of Koron lay directly in Typhoon Haiyan's path, a top destination for scuba divers, both for its coral and World War II shipwrecks. Around 900 kilometers west lies Vietnam. Uh, when the typhoon came, it was like you're behind a uh, commercial jet that is going to take off. That's how it felt. That's how it sounded like. It lasted for three hours. There was a lull of uh, maybe two hours. I think that was the tail of the storm. Uh, after two hours, it started again. We are in urgent need of food, basically rice, uh, drinking water, we need uh, medicines like antibiotics, medicine for cough, fever, mosquito nets, blankets, clothes, because 85.5% uh, of our people have lost their homes, including their belongings, so that uh, they can rebuild their lives and they can have at least uh, clothes behind their backs.